Hi, this is Worship Leading Top Tips, number three. I'm going to talk a little bit more about preparation. So, how do you prepare um, to lead worship? And I think it's not like, um, it's not like something that is a one-off um, just before each set, but I think leading worship has to come from a place of relationship with God. Um, a place of integrity. So who I am when I get up in front of people to lead them in singing is the same person that I am um, on a Friday night, on a Saturday morning, or when I'm doing the washing up at home or something like that, or cleaning out guinea pig cages. This idea of um, continuity that we don't, put on a mask when we get up in front of people. And really that's, um, for me, that's an important thing and it's also a challenging thing because we all like to have people think we're great. And maybe you've, you know, like me, been given some gifts musically and sometimes those can be impressive to people. And I think to be to have integrity, you know, to be that same person when you get up to lead um, as you are behind closed doors. And part of that is admitting our struggles um, with a few people, you know, a few good friends that you can be um, accountable to because it's quite a miserable thing when your public persona starts to separate from who you really are. And I think it's the source of a lot of burnout, a lot of people falling out of ministry, is though the difference between the public persona and the actual person is there's a disparity there. And um, the antidote to that is to be really in, in community where you are known, where you are, um, where you can be vulnerable about your struggles and temptations and failings in life because we all have them. It is what it is to be human. Um, and the great thing is the Bible talks about coming into the light putting things into the light, you know, confess your sins to one another that you may be healed and whole. And that's what we want. And that's, we want to lead worship out of who we really are. And that means not presenting ourselves as better than we are, um, but actually being known in a community and finding that community that's really a safe place um, with people you can trust, who are going to walk you through, pray you through the struggles in your life. So um, not really about preparing a set, but more about preparing your heart and just being uh, a true, a true worshipper first, and then you can be a worship leader. All right. Cheers, guys. God bless you.